Hey guys, this is a beginner's guide to editing in Adobe Premiere Pro. So I already have my video files created in a folder. So this is a reaction video for a channel called Muslim Minds that I have. And here, as you can see, this this is the video taken from yes, my iPhone. Muslims do. And then this is the screen capture from OBS. Oh. No, that a month, recorded the month the from video, Madonna, 29 to and as well as the USB microphone. So the screen capture from OBS picked up the microphone and the screen capture of the video. And then this right here picked up our reaction. So to edit it, I will simply open up Adobe Premiere. So we're going to do a new project and we are going to click the folder that we want. We're going to update our project location to the correct location since it might, it'll probably go to the one you did before if you have another project. So you're going to make sure your project folder location is correct. And you can just name the sequence uh, something simple so you can remember it. So I'll just name it Orthodox versus Catholic since that is the reaction video that we recorded. Uh, and project name, I will keep it the same thing. So change the project name. You can change the sequence if you want, and then make sure the project location is in the correct place and select the folder where your video files are. And then you're going to go ahead and click create. So here, as you can see, we have the screen recording here, and then it put in our video here. So what I want to first do is first move these to the above layer. Um, cause the video will be above the recording of, uh, our reaction. So I'm going to put our reaction to video one and audio one and move the screen capture to video two and audio two. And then what I'm going to do is since we want the reaction to be, we want the screen recording to be over reaction. We're going to go to scale right here and lower the scale. So then uh, we'll be able to move it to the bottom and then I'll be able to show the screen recording of the video and our reaction as well. Since we have two different uh, videos and audios, what we want to do is synchronize it and that'll really help with the editing process. So once both um, videos and audios are on different layers, so you're going to select them all right click and then click synchronize then make sure this audio button is clicked and click ok and that's going to synchronize both audios so then it'll make the editing process easier so as you can see it starts here hey guys muslim minds we so now when I'm editing the reaction video everything is already aligned I don't have to drag the videos and audios together which might take a lot of minutes to do it saves a lot of time and now it's all aligned so since i recorded the i picked up the audio from my usb microphone i don't want any of the audio from my iphone or camera so what i'm gonna do here is i'm going to highlight the iphone video and audio i'm gonna unlink it and then I'm going to go to the iPhone audio and I'm going to clear it. So that way we only have the audio from the USB microphone, which is the microphone we want. And there'll be no echo or mess ups in the audio. And West. Let's try to understand so, what their differences are. Difference number one. As you can see here, it syncs up the audio. It syncs up Orthodox us are talking. Just Catholics so there's no... There's no uh, differences. There's no like echoing of the iPhone audio and the USB microphone. We only need the USB microphone audio. Another thing that I want to show you guys is keyboard shortcuts. And this is what we're going to be using to cut the video, remove the stuff we don't want, and then eventually make it into its final form. So I have my cut to X and I have my ripple delete to Z. And that's really the only two keys that I really use. So as you can see, this is all the things we don't need. 
So I will press X and then it'll highlight all this stuff here and I will press Z. And I'll do that one more time. So here, for example, there's empty space. As you can see on the audio that's synced up, there's empty space here that we don't want. So I'll press X here. Then I'll move it again to here, press X. I'll highlight this middle portion and I'll press Z for my ripple delete. So that takes the, the video and audio between the two cuts. We cut them with X and then highlight it and press Z. Then it removes it completely and it snaps in the next audio and video pieces. So then uh, it'll remove what you don't want and keep what you want and snap it back into place. So then you can keep on editing. So from here, all I'm going to do is I'm going to go through the whole uh, timeline here of my audio and video and I will cut out what I don't need. So now all I'm going to do is do the cutting, uh, which is my hotkeys Z and X, which you've set up in your uh, keyboard shortcuts button here. I don't want the reaction to be overlaid of when we're talking. Like for example, here's the intro of us talking before the video starts. And I don't want this video to be here right now. So what I'm going to do is the audio and video is linked. So I'm going to go ahead and unlink it. Then I am going to delete the video, but the audio is still staying there because it is a USB microphone I have. So the audio will still stay. The video will leave in these parts that we don't want because we cut it. And then we'll just continue from there. So I'm, that's what I'm going to do. And I'll continue on with editing this track. Okay, guys. So I went through and I have edited the video. So as you can see, I cut out the parts where we're talking and I left in the video parts, like I mentioned before. And just to make it easier, uh, when I want to like add in timestamps in like the YouTube video description, I just color coded the parts where we talk about a certain topic and then that'll help me be able to add in the timestamps later. So once you're done with that, all you want to do is press the I button at the beginning. That makes, that is the, it tells Adobe that that is the in and you want to go to the end and press O and that makes it out. So then when you go to like this export page at the end, you're going to, the range will be in and out and that'll help you in the video editing process. And something else I like to do is for the audio effects to just in the effects tab that you have type in D noise and that will remove the white noise from the audio. So I'll just select all the audio here, click D noise and drag it on all of the audio. So now that'll be implemented on all of the audio. If you click any audio here, uh, you'll see on the left hand side, it has this D noise under the audio. Um, so, hey guys, Muslim minds, we have another video as you guys can that hear, we're going to be reacting to called Orthodox versus Catholic. Noise what is it? the difference? And I'll no. clear out any of the white noise that you might have. So it's very helpful to have that. Other than that, I usually keep the audio settings pretty similar. Or if it's too loud, I would basically just unclick this level button. So then it doesn't that will change the level over time if you leave it clicked but i would just unclick it and put the decibels to a higher number if the audio is too low or put it to a lower number if the audio is too high but um funny joke one of my friends i think the audio is fine so just leave it as as it is and that is basically all you need to do to do a beginner's level edit in adobe you're just cutting it and doing ripple uh cuts to remove the video and just something else I do in our videos. So then there's a call to action is I have this, these essential graphics that I put in 
it's something that you need to look up yourself. There's websites you can look it up. Uh, I use Invato Elements, which is a paid service. So basically, I would add it in. Um, I need to descale it so then it could be here. Yeah, I and I'll just cool, add this so. call to action here. So I just go here for the logo, go to the folder where your picture is, and add in the logo, and then it'll add it in here. As you why? Can see. Why if, not? Why not have a figure? Why not? And have if like a Jesus leader? is, and that just makes it have the call to action to like, subscribe, and notification bell. Put it in the video, and I'll just add it in a few times throughout the video so people can see. And that's it. Something else we do for our videos is adding in a, our Instagram handle. So basically I add it to another layer so then it's always gonna be there. And let me go to right here. Then you click on it on the timeline so then you can edit it. So I'm gonna put in the Instagram handle for our channel. So muslimminds.us and you can click off of it. And then I'm just gonna drag it so it's throughout the whole video, basically. And then on the left-hand side, I will scale it down a little bit. So to move it, you just move it here through the position. This is the Y axis, so you can, I like to put it in the left corner. So I'll move it up here then drag it to the left and maybe move it a little bit up so it looks better. That's good. And to make sure the box width is here. This is just something I have that I do. You can, there's similar things you can find online by searching, you know, Instagram graphics add into Adobe. So that looks good to me just to show you that it works. Hey guys, Muslim Minds, like we this. have another video. And I'll keep it all the way to the end of the video. So, now I'll just save this and I will, the video looks good, so I will export it. So my video, I just put it in 1080p because it's just a reaction, doesn't need to be 4K. It just makes the rendering time for the video uh, go faster and the upload to YouTube go faster. So for this type of video, I just did 1080p. Um, and as you can see, the estimated file size here, uh, 1080p, it makes it a lot less. Uh, and I just want to make sure this is correct. Leave in the comment sections below. And assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum salam. As you can see, the in and out range is correct. Hey guys, most the file size looks good. And the location, you want to make sure it's on the right thing. So I'm going to change it to Orthodox versus Catholic. And I have heard before, the file name itself does, it might help for the YouTube algorithm. So make sure the file name is something similar to the video. And then I'm going to click export. And that's basically it. This is a basic edit in Adobe Premiere. Just using the cut tools, I use X and Z for cutting and then a ripple deleting. And then adding in something like a Instagram graphic or any graphic at all. Making sure you synchronize if you're having audio and video from different sources, which I would suggest you do if you have a USB microphone. And then basically, as you can see here, it will export in a few minutes and then I will be able to upload it to YouTube. So yeah, that's basically it for this video. If you guys want to see me upload to YouTube, I might have another video on that. If you guys want to see a video as well as making thumbnails for YouTube video, I might also make a video on that as well. Please remember to like and subscribe to see more videos from me. And thank you guys for watching.